Hey guys, so I'm Evelyn. I'm going to show you today how to do the neon effect. Okay, so the first thing I do is you go into um, Photoshop and you select your image. So once you've edited it, I will click on this text tool and then drag out the um, text box and then just type whatever text you like. So this is what I'm going to type and then I will arrange uh, I will move it to the uh, place I want it to be in so around the middle of the bottom half so here and then it's really simple to get that neon glow all you have to do is go into blending options and then go to outer glow and because I've already had my previous settings inputted it does it automatically but basically what you have to do is just choose whatever color you want um, so you can go for this kind of dark blue or you know whatever but I like this light blue so I'm just gonna click OK and then the opacity you can see as I bring it up the more glowy it gets but I like it at around 41 that kind of thing maybe 45 46 that's okay and then the spread is um, I put mine at 1 because I want it to be close to the text I don't want it to be too spread out and then the size is just you know um, how fuzzy it is I guess and um, I want mine to be just a little bit fuzzy not too much so at 70 and then just click OK and then to create the shadow you just add a new layer and then go to the pen tool I'm not sure if this is what everyone does, but this is my way of doing it. Um, and then you just, uh, oh yeah, you select the um, soft round brush tool and then just do a, do a, um, just click a dot, like just click, tap once on your keyboard and then um, move it to the middle here. And then to align with the text, we're just going to go to edit and free uh, no just transform and then distort and pull out the dot I guess so that it's a bit longer and it matches the size of the text that we just created like this I think yeah and then you can shape it however you want it can be flatter I like it to be a little bit flatter um yeah something like that but right now it's a bit too bright so i'm going to go to opacity and bring it down a little bit so that it just seems like a um it just seems like the text is hovering because when it's too bright it, it looks really strange when it's brighter than the text so somewhere like 70 and i like to match the um the color of the text to to the shadow but obviously here it's too spread out so I'm just gonna adjust these settings um, I don't want too much outer glow on this because um, I don't think it looks that good I'm just going to make sure the color overlay is the same as the text so what I'm going to do is go here and copy and paste this um, the number of this color I guess and then go back to color overlay and paste it here so it'll be the exact same color which means that these two things match and then that's pretty much it um, yeah it's very quick very simple and um, if you guys do end up doing this I would love to see it and just feel free to tag me at Evelyn Cheng X and yeah I'd love to see them Hope you found this tutorial useful and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.